Okay, so I got good news and better news. Good news is I'm wearing shorts for the first time this year in Tennessee. But I'm leaving, headed a little bit north of here, actually going to Kentucky, north uh, west of here, I suppose. Getting the boat ready. I fished Kentucky Lake one other time. It was in June, so it's pretty much like me not fishing it. And the way I fished back then, it's pretty much like me not fishing it at all. So pretty much a new lake. We're going to run a lot of new water anyways. I don't want to fish the area that I fished last time. So here to Kentucky Lake now. I'm excited about this one. It's going to be fun. The other better news is, talk to the tournament director today probably getting into the Bassmaster Open. I'm seventh on the waiting list now, and we got like two months, and a lot of boaters are probably gonna drop out soon, so that's awesome. Get into the Bass Open on Chickamauga, most likely. If not, I'm gonna need a co-angler, so, to link with. It's gonna be cool. But right now, we're focusing on Kentucky Lake. Let's go, next stop, Paris, Tennessee. Coming out of the land between the lakes now. We went over Barkley just a minute ago. Now we're down here, going across Kentucky Lake. It's awesome. I love this place. Only been here once, but I smashed them shallow. And then in the tournament, I fished deep. That is uh, the kind of stuff I would do in my younger days. Now though, it's time to catch them. Trying to catch them up big time. Okay, so we're here now. We're at Paris Land in the State Park. Actually, there's a some kind of tournament. I guess it's a probably an ABA team tournament. Yeah, ABA team trail going on over there. You see the the stage. Y'all probably can't read that, but right there it says team trail. I know it's the ABA stuff. So team trail tournament going on here today. So we better look that up. See what it took to win down this way, anyways, because most of the boats usually do stay semi close to the ramp. So we better see what it took to win that, anyways, in a little while. But we're about to get out on the water, try it. Hope we catch us at least a few today. This is the area I want to fish, but it's a long, long ride from where we're putting in at. We're in Paris now, putting in way up almost by the dam. So, it's gonna be a run, but for 19 a day, I'll come down here. See that? From here over is soaked. There's like four foot waves on the main lake, and I, I probably shouldn't even went fishing today. As soon as I saw that, I should just chilled out, went to the hotel. But hey, we're here now. Gonna fish around here for a while, see what we can do. There's some really, really high percentage docks right here, so we're gonna see. There should be some fish living around these. All right, so I haven't been able to talk to y'all because it's been so windy that there's no way y'all be able to hear what I'm saying. But we out here now, throwing those swim bait around. Same one I was throwing the other day on Chickamauga. Skipping a jig around some docks. Cranked a little. Talked to some dudes a while ago. I pulled into the back of a pocket. Couldn't show y'all it because it was so freaking windy in there. I asked them, I said, tell me where y'all are fishing. If y'all are in a tournament, I'll just stay away from it. Whatever y'all want to do. They're like, all we're going to hit is this one thing. You can fish wherever you want to. We ain't had a bite all day. Like not a bite, is it not a bite? And they supposedly have been catching them real good for the past week or so, so maybe it is that bad. I heard this lake was bad, so hope maybe it is. Hopefully I can find something a little special though. jig under a dock though that's what I like seeing it's been a while actually ain't been that long first bite though need to get about two and a half pounds bigger I'll take five threes a day that'd be that'd be fine it's pretty cool though I like catching them like that oh my goodness that was rough right there man that was bad I'm glad I went out there in the big lake I was actually beside a beside a the bank and a channel's running and that was bad. This lake gets real, real rough. It's so long and straight. This lake gets terrible. So I did not see what I wanted. I can't stay on the main river right now, which is what I feel like I need to be doing. So I'm, 
I'm leaving for today. It's about to start raining. It's gonna storm pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's kind of, it's not like me really to leave a practice day early like that, but okay, it's about a freaking storm. I would rather just get to my hotel. I gotta drive still an hour to get there, get checked in, get everything right, and then hit it hard in the morning in some better areas. So that's gonna do it for today. I might stick around for a second see what's going on at way in to this tournament just see what's leading or what's won or something like that so we'll see good morning everybody sun is up we're late but it's cold out there it's like 34 35 degrees freezing we gotta go get gas it's like 20 minute ride from here to even get some gas so we're gonna get gas and go put in somewhere else make sure it's full for tomorrow and the next day to put in here let's go get the day started all right, got a tip for y'all. Get, don't wear no cotton stuff whenever it's cold. You better have a layer of stuff that the wind cannot cut through. Because if you can get the wind off every single part of your body, it's actually not even that cold, even when it's like 30. If no wind can touch your ankles, your hands, your neck, your face, it's not even that cold. But I'm not prepared. This is supposed to be April fishing, and it is like 32 degrees, 33 degrees right now. That sucks. It ain't going to hurt the fishing. It's going to hurt the fishermen more than the fish, but still not that fun to be out there. But it's going to warm up by the tournament. And all these pros talk about warming trends and all this stuff. Yeah, that is a factor, but these fish move shallow based on the length of the day. So these fish are coming shallow. They're going to be shallow today. They're going to be shallow tomorrow. Don't matter how cold it gets, they're shallow. The days are getting longer. If it's 32 degrees and it drops the water temp a degree and a half, then fish are not going to swim 200 miles. You know, they they stay there. We just got to figure out how to make them bite. So... Good luck us. All right, we out here now. Gonna fish some docks for a while. Y'all know that's my forte. <clears throat> some docks over here, they're pretty isolated. Close to some spawning places, looks like. So I'm gonna skip a chat a bit around, jig around a little bit around these docks. And see what we can come up with. Get a couple bites doing this, it'll make me feel a whole lot better. It's my way of fishing, so that's what we're trying to do, guys. All right, a few hours I fished yesterday plus the uh, 30 minutes I fished so far today is really, my hunch is they're out on the main river. Um, maybe on flatter stuff because it's getting close to them pulling into these pockets. So a lot of times they stay on the bluffy stuff, a lot of current all winter. They get on more shallow gravel or gravelly bars that are, you know, like 45 degree banks or even flatter than that right before they move into spawn. So right now I'm thinking that's what they're doing probably gonna fish the main river for a while and I may come back in some pockets the last day of practice or last two days of practice and see if any have pulled in which they, they kind of live in pockets they kind of live in the main river so we're just gonna see if we can find some later in the tournament that are in pockets those fish kind of stay more so if you get a bite the day before the tournament and shake it off it's more likely to stay there in a pocket on a piece of hard cover than in the river in current in my opinion those fish in current they just move they, they don't really live on those rocks what well, they do, but they just like pull up where you catch them to feed. So if you catch, if you get a bite today, that don't mean it's gonna be up there in that same position tomorrow. If you catch him off a piece of hard cover, you know, if he stays there, he's gonna be, when you present your bait, he's gonna see it again. So I always try to shake them off on places where they're gonna stay like the day before a tournament. So that's the plan right now. So I did not have my camera on. That's my first fish of the day. A little smallmouth ate a swim bait on one of these shallow gravel bars. It's not, it's not really even a bar. This is a gravel bank. Um, I'm gonna swim it up there right on the little drop of it and just slow rolling a swim bait down it. Same swim bait I was throwing on chick the other day. So this is how I wanna fish. I just need to find a couple of these bars that have a ditch running right in front of them where I, my boat's sitting in probably, I don't know, seven or eight like this close from the bank. So right here I'm in four, so if I could find one of these that was just where my boat was like this close and probably sitting in six, they'd probably really be loaded there. That's the difference on these kind of lakes where there's so much of this kind of bank. You really have to find that one that's just a little bit deeper or that one that's just got a little bit of stumps on or something like that. So now we know what we're looking for. All right, we caught that one smallie off that bar. Fished it for long enough where I should have got another bite of the fish were there. So we are 
back into a creek now. It's just miserable out there, man. It's terrible. It's so cold. My hands are froze, bouncing on waves, winds howling. So we're going back in the creek and not catch something out back in here is at least slightly more fun than not catching stuff out there. So this is not fun so far. Okay, so might not seem like it, but this is actually what I call fun. Don't know why we do this kind of stuff. It's just miserable today. We're not catching them. We got three more days. So it's not an issue. We got to figure something out in the next three days. That's the only thing. So it only takes like 10 or 15 minutes to really get dialed in on something in practice. Like literally, you know, you get two or three bites in real fast on two or three spots in a row. Then all of a sudden it's like the light bulb goes off. You just run it. So if that's what we're still trying to do. So far I've kind of fished, uh, I don't know, my way of fishing. Have not caught anything yet. So don't know what we're going to do. But we're gonna figure them out, that's for dang sure. Hope y'all having fun keeping up with me anyways.